what's coming, Barner. You know what's coming, and there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do. My Georgia Bulldogs, the number one ranked team in America, is headed west to that cow pasture you call a football field at Jordan-Hare Stadium, and we're leaving, whoa, with win number 10. 10 and 0, son. Sounds so good. Sounds so good. If you couldn't beat us last year with the team we had, it's definitely not happening this year. All I heard from Barner, this is all I heard from Barner after that game last year. Oogaloo, oogaloo. If we would have had Cam Padaway, we would have beat you. But he was injured and couldn't play. That's the only reason you won. Guess what? He's injured again. So what now? Oh, Uncle Lou, does it matter? We have Carry on Johnson this year. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, Carry on Johnson last year. He played. Oh, oh, Uncle Lou, Carry on Johnson. Uh, l- listen, you might have a good defense, Uncle Lou, but you haven't faced a running back like Carry on Johnson. Carry on Johnson's going to get 100 yards, Uncle Lou. Hey, hello, Barner. He got 100 yards last year. You still lost. You didn't even get a single first down in the second half. We beat you without scoring an offensive touchdown. (laughs) We had the worst offense in the SEC last year. One of the worst we've had at UJ this century. And we still humiliated you. And we're about to humiliate you again. The SEC West is a joke. A joke. The second best team in the West, LSU, lost to Troy. You lost to LSU. We have Carrion Johnson. Great, great. That's all you have. I watched that Texas A&M game. That Jamoke ran the ball 35 times for three yards of carry. So guess what? If that's the plan, he might get 100 yards. If he runs the ball 35 times for three yards of carry, he might get 100 yards. And you're going to tow the giant L! People coming out of the woodwork this week. The hate parade is strong for Georgia. And we're eating it up. I love it. I, I, listen, listen. Keep hating. Keep hating. Everybody hates the man on top. And right now, that's my Georgia Bulldog. So keep hating. Keep hating. Uncle Lou, Auburn will be the best team that Georgia has played. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. Wrong. But you know what ain't wrong? This will be the best team that Auburn has played, and it's not close. Don't tell me about the Taters. The Taters aren't what they were last year. They're just not. Period. Tell me about the uh, Bungaloo. We only lost to the Taters by eight. Only what? We only lost to the Taters by eight. You only what? We only lost to the... You lost! Auburn is the only fan base in America that brags about losses. Oh, glue. Oh, glue. We lost the national title game in 2013. You what? We lost the national title game in 2013. What you say you did now? We lost the national... You lost! I quit listening after I hear the word lost. Oh, glue. We made the Sugar Bowl last year and lost. Well, uh, uh, you what? Uh, oh, Lou, we made it to the Sugar Bowl last year and lost. You did what to the Sugar Bowl now? We made it to the Sugar You lost! Oh, Lou, our, our, our two losses this year are by a combined 12 points. You do to what now about 12 points? Our two losses this year is by a combined 12 points. What, what, 12 what now? Our two losses. Your two losses! L! Losses! Nick Chubb, Sony Michelle, DeAndre Swift, McCole Harmon, Riley Ridley, Javon Wims, Jake Frome, Roquan Smith, Trent Thompson, 
Uh, who else you want? Natres Patrick is back. You're screwed. Ledbetter. Uh, Rochester. Uh, who are Aaron Davis? Let me I go on and on here. You're not ready. I lo I'm loving it. Keep hating. Keep hating on UGA. We'll keep winning. Win number 10 coming soon. 10 and 0. Woo! Feels good too. You know, one of the saddest things, you don't want to know what one of the saddest things is? No joke. Let me set this down. I got me damn worked up. You want to know what the sad, the, the saddest thing, the saddest part of the, this, I mean, this, I can't even believe this. Auburn and Alabama. Sworn enemies, what they tell you, right? Oh, when you're born, you have to choose. War Tiger or Woe Tide. You got to choose when you're born. We, I would never root for an Auburn fan. You never root for Bama. A fan, fan, you never root for Auburn. Well, guess what? Guess what? The damn gumps are coming out of the woodwork this week rooting for Auburn. Don't tell me it's not happening. I see it everywhere. Facebook, Twitter. Hell, look. War Tiger Woo. War Tiger Woo. Gus Malzahn. Weed option. Beep boop. Man, that's the saddest damn thing I've ever seen, dude. Dude wakes up drunk. <sighs> Uncle Lou, this game's on the road at Auburn. How'd that work out? You know what the good news is about this being at Auburn? This is going to be my favorite part, too. When that clock hits triple zeros, and my Georgia Bulldogs are pulling out of Jordan Harris Stadium, toting that 10th dub of the year. And they look out the window, down the road there, to Tumor's Corner. And they see that stupid ass tree on fire again when y'all burn that damn thing down like you did last time. Woo!